Welcome back to this week's Weekly Giddy Up. We have a lot to get through today. Seniors, it's crunch time. Let's pull through. Oh, shit, I forgot to take the bottle off. No, keep the bottle there. We want sponsors. All right. Brisk. A lot of senior events coming up. The most important one is going to be on May 31st. That is Friday. So we have, not only do we have our senior day, but we have our cap and gowns from Johnson's will be coming in that morning. We have our senior field day we have our senior assembly and we have our walkover for the elementary feeder schools as well as senior sunset which Most is gonna be one. fun time very fun time yeah so seniors make sure you mark your calendars and have a good time on that may 31st it's gonna be one of the last times that our entire senior class is together so let's have a good time then booster students make sure you are buying your yearbook before the end of the month only 85 dollars and also the yearbook class is doing a raffle five dollars to enter and you can win a gift card so why not take a gamble and maybe win a gift card you might win a lot of other cool things too a lot of like gift cards and all that i heard that so it's true. if you're into gift cards which we all know a lot of people are yes pay five bucks join the raffle help the yearbook class give us your money okay give the Give, give us your money and also give the yearbook class five dollars with the raffle. Buy a yearbook. And give us money. Eddie. Yes. You seen your car lately? It's kind of dirty. It's not looking good. It's not. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you straight out. It's not. But good thing because the track and field team is having their own very, uh, very own car wash, which you can buy for five dollars or more if you want to donate more, but the cost is $5. It'll be Saturday, May 25th from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. And it'll be at the law firm of Laub and Laub on 630E Plum Lane, Reno. Laub and 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 Laub. All right, Wooster students, we have a club announcement. This time it's going to be on our Interact Club. I hear they have a dodgeball tournament coming up. So why don't we roll that footage? Hey guys, it's Trinaldo, and this is the club announcements. Today we have Rotary Youth Exchange Club and Interact, so let's take it to them for more information. Hello, my name is Paula and I come from Deutschland. My sister's best friend, she went on an exchange, and I, she talked about it with me, and I always thought it was cool, so I wanted to go, and I did some research, and I thought it was cool, and then I um, found, out about a, found out about Rotary. The Rotary Youth Exchange is an exchange program for students to experience new cultures and um, um, meet new people in different countries. <laughs> Rotary has different like clubs, and um, the counselor of my club like I talked to him. It takes like a year to apply for Rotary for an exchange because you have to go to orientations and prepare yourself for um, the exchange year. We have club meetings from my Rotary club here, my house club. And I go there um, every week once. And the meeting is at thurs on Thursdays at lunch. Um, and we also have um, orientations like weekends with uh, with the other exchange students in Reno. Because of the exchange I have lots of new friends and a second family now and just another place I can call home. <laughs> I live with the Barrancas and they're like my second family now so it's just nice to have um, people from another country you have a relationship with. I love it, like I don't want to leave because it's just so nice to be an exchange student and meeting so many new people. And I would just say when they're going, if they're going to, uh, to do an exchange, they should enjoy their year and make the best out of it and um, try to do as much as you can and be a good student. <laughs> So you could either go to um, the Interact Club in, at school, they meet on Thursdays at lunch, I think. Um, or you should also, uh, you could also ask Kathy, she's like the main counselor from, from here for Rotary. So I think the easiest way is through school and um, Interact. 
Yo, what's up? My name is Amika, and I'm the future president of Interact. And I'm Elisa, the future uh, something of Interact. If you haven't already heard, Interact is a community service club right here at Wooster. And currently, we're fundraising by hosting a... Da -da -da! Dodgeball tournament! Testing season has been super stressful. We feel you, bro. So why not celebrate, treat yourself that it's all over, and that you survived? And have fun with your friends while living your best life in our dodgeball tournament. And it's open to teachers. That's right. And look at you, Miss Wershing. So take out your calendar and save the date. May 30th, next Thursday, after school in the big gym. You and four of your friends can sign up in IA1 or with any Interact Club member. There is a team entrance fee of $25, all of which, you'll be happy to know, goes straight to charity. For more information, find one of our blue flyers around school or check out our Instagram, at WHS Interact 2019. And participating will give you the opportunity to try and interact out. We need new members and would love to have you for next year. Our club gives you the chance to throw in a cape, get out into your community, and help change the world. Just think about it. Back to you, Eddie Trevor. If you're a fan of the NBA, which a lot of people at Wooster are, then you'll be excited to see the new sports report by Bryson Barco and his team about the NBA Finals Top 10 Playoff Moments compilation. So, uh, let's see that, yeah. Okay. Oh! I thought that was falling, but it was just step moving. <laughs> Sports report. Today we have a list of the top 10 plays in the NBA Finals of the first round. Here we see Draymond Green with the ball and he lobs it to KD and KD yams it into the basket. Real nice dunk from KD. Here we see Karis Levert with the up and layup and instead of a layup, behind the back pass to Jared Allen. Real nice behind the back pass. Jared Allen with the layup too. Very nice. Here we see Derek White going to the basket with the crossover spin move and the finish on the left side of the basket. Very nice. Oh my god. Here we see Miles Turner with the posterizer on Gordon Hayward. That is nasty. Oh my gosh. Dude. Here we see Damian Lillard going up for the layup and getting blocked by Russell Westbrook. That is nasty. Here we see Terrence Ross from the Magic with the buzzer beater half court shot with two seconds left on the board. Half court, oh man. Damn, right in there. Here we see Lou Williams with the crossover on Katie and the pass to Harold and he yams it into the basket. What a nice dunk and a nice pass from Lou. Here we see a pass to Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak, the deer. He goes up for the dunk and instead jellies it and draws the foul. Wow. Here we see a steal from Ricky Rubio and a pass to Jay Crowder and a lob to Donovan Mitchell, the former dunk champion of 2018. Next we see a block from Rudy Gobert and a pass to Donovan Mitchell and he sinks the three like a dagger. Pow. <laughs> Here we see Damian Lillard sizing up Paul George. Three seconds left, shoots it from 36 feet, and he makes it. He said, bye bye OKC, shoots it right in Paul George's face. Say, no, 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 you're gone. Get swept, boy, get out of here. That's it. All right, that's been your sports report. Back to you, Eddie and Trevor. All right, we also have a brand new Colt highlight video. This time it's on our math department. Fun fact, Mr. Biggins, his first name literally spells math, ew. So let's take a look at that. Culture of the math department, I think as a department, we're really close. We uh, get along really well with one another. We try to do things together almost like a family. Um, and so I think that helps us as we are scheduling and putting people in the right spots for the betterment of our students. The math classes that we offer at Wooster go from Algebra 1 all the way up to uh, our IB math classes, which um, we have HL1 and HL2, which really uh, our college level classes that are including Calculus 1, Calculus 2, and even some of the higher level college math classes. One thing that I think should be taught in high school is a more of a consumer math class, which I think would be beneficial for all students to take, so that way they're prepared to uh, 
get out of high school and be able to get loans and deal with credit cards and all the kind of stuff that you're going to have to do on a day-to-day -day basis when you get out of high school. Since a lot of students do struggle with math, we try to offer a lot of different opportunities for support. We have uh, after-school tutoring. We have teachers who are putting in lots of hours and time. Um, we really try and make it as relevant as we can and apply it to you know real-world situations whenever it's possible. And so a lot of what's being done at the high school level is uh, building blocks for what you could do in the future with math. Also fun fact, Mr. Flores' name is Renee. It's the month of May, chances are high that you've taken a standardized examination, whether it be a AB, <laughs> AB, AB Calculus, AB Calculus, AP uh, Advanced Placement, or International Baccalaureate, IB. So, and none of us, no one really likes to test. We don't really like to do that. But we did prepare this little video for you to watch that has everything, I think everyone can relate to something in this video about tests so let's see that okay everybody so we're gonna put our bags towards the front of the room take out a pencil and we're gonna start the test start time is going to be in five minutes during this time you cannot talk to anybody if you do then your exam will be void are there any questions You may begin. Twelve seconds later. Done. Two hours later. Did you guys start without me? Meanwhile, all right, thirty minutes left on the test. That's ten minutes three times, so that's five minutes six times. Just gotta get through five minutes six times. All right, I got this. Later. They really said this wasn't going to be on the test. All right, that's it for this week's Giddy Up. We hope you had a good time watching, and we'll hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching. May all your favorite bands stay together. May testing, it's like an Imagine Dragon song. You just want it to end. Thunder, thunder.